a lifetime. It's going by. All of the marching band. It started out almost nine years ago when we decided that we'd come out west and try and start up a traveling show. And we both got the idea of uh, traveling with horses and trying to put together some kind of wagon train that would travel around do theater and uh, music. So we started out on Vancouver Island. We went down and bought eight horses and we built about five or six wagons. Well, they all fell apart one right after the other, and the horses were turned out to be either lame or renegades that some horse dealer sold us. So it took a lot of, lot of work and a lot of energy and a lot of people until finally we got on the road two years later with one wagon and one puppet show and six very dear people. Scotty, walk now. Why horses? Because they're slow. And I like slow things. Scotty. The main reason for the horses, actually, though, is that we can arrive in a town with a bit of magic. We can arrive an announced like a herald. In the old days, when the circus was coming, it was all horse-drawn. The kids would run through the town yelling, the circus is coming, the circus is coming. Well, that's the way we want to ride. She takes the secrets from the jar, the floor begins to quake. She lit a candle with her eyes, and then she made the table rise. She told me the place where I was born, she almost knew the date. Thank you. And now I say without ado, step inside, remove your shoe. The dragon will wait, he comes from afar, but first you must whisper. Scotty, walk. Good boy, Scotty. Easy now. Why theater? Well, basically because we want to um, use theater as a medium for reaching people. It's another aspect of the caravan that we're trying to enrich our lives as well as people's, people that come in contact with us on the road or in our shows.
You're watching Camus Television, colorful CFJC TV. Just for our viewers who may not really be all that aware of the Caravan Stage Company, what is it all about? Well, it's the world's only horse-drawn open-air theater, and we travel through the country uh, with horse-drawn wagons and uh, teams of actors, jugglers, clowns, musicians, acrobats, dancers, uh, writers, singers, uh, cooks, teamsters, and horse riders. And the wagons are drawn by uh, eight beautifully matched Clydesdales. Most of us double about eight or nine functions uh, in the company, and uh, we travel from town to town and uh, do our performances. Uh, and what kind of area do you cover? I mean, obviously, I wouldn't imagine it would be that immense uh, being horse-drawn. Well, last year we covered about 600 miles in the interior of B.C. Uh, we, we average about 10 to 12 miles a day. How much a part of uh, the performance is the actual music and the uh, movement and so on? Well, it's a musical show. Here. Somebody rob the CPI. You can play on your fiddle and your own guitar. Some people say it's a terrible crime. But as for me, I think it's just about time. And in Kamloops, where trains run down the main street. Nobody wants to see the CPB. Somebody rob the CPI. You can play on your fiddle and your old guitar. Some people say it's a terrible crime. But as for me, I think it's just about We do several different kinds of shows. We have the Coyotes, which is our main show, which is like a satirical musical comedy. We've attracted several real coyotes to the show. He said, He's right. a lot of problems problem. with him trying to <laughs> but well, I can't be any in the studio, I don't think. You know, it must be one of your cameramen that's just kind of kidding around. But, you know, it's a problem. Obviously, we, it's business here. Uh, uh, <laughs> this actually might be one of the coyotes in the show. Are, are you in the show? Uh, I have a question here for our... Uh, very uh, sophisticated coyote here. Uh, uh, how many other coyotes are actually uh, in uh, this this play? That's three. That's, uh, that's, that's three. That's, that's, that's he can three. actually speak this coyote, you know. Is is that right? He I, can speak English. Obviously, just, an uh, intelligent coyote. Yeah, no, I'll just uh, get his mic on here. That's All right, his we'll, face, uh, and uh, ask. We can. I've taught him a few uh, English words. Uh, is, now, is that right? Yeah, it is. What's on top of a house? <laughs> What do you think? I like it. I like it. He's, he can really go far in this business. What's the opposite of smooth? <laughs> he is good, huh? That, he can that, speak. It's amazing. That, that's really coming along. What's on a tree? <laughs> Bark! He's great, this one. <laughs> he is really good. Oh, leaves. <laughs> <laughs> this is a slobber jaw, this coyote. There are three coyotes in the right. show. Slobber jaw, muzzle guts, and white shadow, the legendary white coyote who's Right, right. Well, I think he likes the painting a lot. Is, right? is that right? Uh, Maybe he's, I think he thinks he can paint it. That's our dollar forty-nine day special, and it's the only one no, we've got. It's, uh, all right. it's all right. If there's, there's nothing alive in there to eat. But, you know, it's just pick. Hey, muzzle guts! Hey, what do you want, slobber jaw? Oink, oink! Uh, pork jaw! <laughs> Spare rib! Oink, oink! Ah, I squealed with delight! Yeah, did you see the look on their faces? Uh, <laughs> and hey. this little piggy got eaten. Hey, give me that pig foot! Stop hamming it up. <laughs> shake my finger. Just remember whose idea this job was. It was my idea. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Give me that bone. Now, listen. And listen good. You, too, have got the imagination of a snail and the guts of a flea without me. You're nothing. Zero. You bare ass bums on the bald ass prairie. You're the boss, White yeah, Shadow. Yeah. Good. Don't forget it. You're a genius, White Shadow. They must have thought there was a hundred of them. Five hundred. A thousand. If they only knew there were just three of us. <laughs> Did you hear over the trains? <laughs> I don't spell very well. I think that's me. Okay. Okay. See you later. Support your local theater. 
<laughs> oh well. Did you see our donkey? Yeah. Do you have a donkey here? Yeah. Oh, the horses won't leave it. They're all standing the in a great big yeah. row. Didn't watching you come over it. to see? The, didn't you see the donkey? That's Herbie, the donkey. How long have you guys been here? Well, we've we been lived here. out here about eight years, and this is here about a year. A year. Yeah. Matter of fact, on, on the old map that we have of our property, it says the old Vernon wagon road. I thought I saw you have them. Any of you that want to shower yeah, as long as I'm sure you're both. No, and in the morning. We're up early in the morning. You better watch Take me. Shower, you know. No, it's there. I even cleaned the bathtub. You got a paint scraper? I think we still have makeup on us from our last mm -hmm. Most we all come from all over. Hey, I, I I hope you didn't know. Okay, who wants another small? <laughs> okay, don't cry, please. Okay, okay who's got that uh, towel? Okay, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. We'll put the towel in. No, don't cry. Put your arms up and get into your neck. Break drum. Scraping on that other piece under the box, is it? Don't even. You know how to tie it tight? Yeah. We'll wrap it twice. Under there. Okay, we'll see if that's finished. Stand there, King. Stand there, Stand King. In the beginning, I, w I wanted to uh, to be a gypsy, you know. I wanted to. Uh, I didn't like the way, our, you know, the alternatives that we had for us. I wanted to have a really strong family, and then provide adventure for my family within uh, our lifestyle. And um, this is one way I think of of uh, of doing it, especially for the kids. You know, as they grow older, they they can uh, see things and see other ways of doing things with, within the family, within our life, rather than having to go out and look for that. <laughs> it's the most theatrical company around. <laughs> I like touring. Yeah, it's the hardest way I have ever, uh, always ever the found. In theater. Well, why are you doing it? The scale appeals to me, you know. <laughs> it really does. It just, it's too easy to do a play in theater, you know, with seats. In an audience in 8.30, so it's, you know, it's always the same. <laughs> yeah, it's, the, it's the phenomenal salary. It's the money. We're all here for yeah, the money, too. Right. 50 a week. <laughs> it's nice to be exhausted. It's not too often you get a chance to be really exhausted for months at a time. <laughs> Originally, when I joined the caravan, I literally, I, I, I was bored with my job, and I had some money in the bank, and it seemed like a better better thing to do for the summer. But then it, it really is a disease. Once you, you've done it, everything else seems boring. I went back to my old job and it was incredibly boring. Uh, and even city life, everything's just too sure. You know, we never know what's gonna happen. The brake lines are gonna go or a horse go lame or, you know, there's a crisis every minute. After you come out of this, you're about eight times stronger than when you first came in. Yeah. There's there's not that many places left in society where you can have adventure. Ready, Bardo? Ready. Ready, Hitch? Ready. Okay, blocks out. Blocks out. Blocks out. Blocks 
Medicine. Locks out, Medicine. Let's go. My baby got big feet. My baby got big feet. My baby got big feet. Oh. My baby got big feet. Got big orange shoes. Go clipping and clap down the street. My baby got a big belly. 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 When I hit her up, she's shaking like a bowl of jelly. You don't want to have an accident. No, no, okay. They what go I'm saying, speeding through, you know. Yeah. They're just so crazy. Yeah. But what I'm it's saying really is, dangerous. technically and legally, you could make applications to the motor vehicle. For a brand, permit. Right. For a permit to use your stop sign. Right. So we yeah, should just use slows for now. We're not trying to interfere with the effectiveness of traffic control, of a traffic control yeah. device. We're trying to yeah. I know you affect are. a safety measure on That's the right. highway. The only thing is, you know, really, we're interested in the Motor Vehicle Act. Simply, it's something. Say if an accident did occur, we are looking at the possibility that number one, the Motor Vehicle Act states that you cannot erect or have or maintain a traffic control device. Stop sign meaning a traffic control device, right? My baby know where to stop. My baby know where to go. My baby know to haw. My baby know where to go. Say don't run away. Baby, I said whoa. because they get doo-doo all over the streets and we don't want horse doo-doo on the streets. Now what did you say your name was? Well, how about you, what's your name? So, resisting arrest, refusing information to a police officer, hey? Ask him buddy. to stick out his tongue. You're gonna get in a lot of trouble. Now what, yeah, doo-doo. <laughs> what is this, huh? Gang of you, a whole gang of you. And as I said, I traveled throughout the world sharing this secret and we have brought her all the way from the Orient to dance before you. Now here she is, little Aorta and the dance of the Seven Rails. All right, I've been out there taking notes. You've been using some uh, questionable language. There's litter all over the field, horses making doo-doo. <laughs> but this is the last straw, buddy, the last straw, the last piece of hay. We don't like people moving their bodies around in this town, <laughs> especially on Sundays. <laughs> so you can all go home now. You see, belly dancing comes from Arab. Now, if you let the Arabs come into BC, the next thing you know, they're going to be putting oil wells all over our town and sucking all the oil out of the earth. And pretty soon our kids will be riding camels to school. So if you think good of Canada, you can all just go home right now and forget you ever had. circumstances. It's only one thing I'm going to do. You're not going to like this, but I'm going to have to place myself under arrest. Coffee. Nick tried to make coffee for the first time this morning. Show me the picture that's over there, are you? Which one? The big one? The, big, the one that's in the in the bowl there. In the morning I had to go pee. Is that right, eh? 
I just want to see too. That's good. Hey, I'm not running there. Okay. Ooh. That's great. That was just enough. Okay, I'll tell you something that's got to go water. Yeah. Well, should I pour this back in? That's the drinking water. Can I have some? Okay. Yeah. I like it. You no, blew it. All right. I mean, that was going to be the perfect scene. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be more perfect scenes there. Don't worry. <laughs> We're not to blame for those left high and dry. If they chose us to win, the others to die. Let the sloshing of their galoshes <laughs> echo the beating <laughs> of the dripping of our blood. <laughs> you grumble and gripe. Say you've got a bum steer. Take a look at this runway. Not something to fear. That man gave you water. Oh, that man put you thirst. Okay, folks, step right up and buy your ticket here now for the most exciting show in the West. Yeah, well, Mr. McGillicott, are you uh, serious about this here? Do I look like the kind of man who would lie? <laughs> I like it, you know. The first year I was here, I found it really, really hard, but this year I'm enjoying the actual hard work. Agnes promised me I'll never sell the farm. Well, no. When else do you get a chance to paint yourself, Whitey? Eh? If you sell the farm, who'll take care of pigs? Pigs are dead, Oscar. Dead? Dead. That explains it. Explains what? Why they don't eat no more. The caravan was the sort of theater that I'd always wanted to do. Hello. My name is Biomade Model 6200A. Fully equipped with internal sanitizing mixing unit. Programmed to make over 32,000 different drinks. I swore I'd never work outdoors again, and here I am doing this. It's a kill, baby! Thank you. Some irresponsible alarmists have been spreading the vicious lie that we were responsible for this, the worst drought in man's history. To them I say, poo poo! Yeah, romantics. Pro yeah, probably really appeals to the romantic in me. Ah, quit your belly aching. What was the worst every morning? I cursed when I had to get up from my bed with the sun. Thought to be choring turned out to be boring. But honey, you bet your sweet ass it's My pigs are dead. <laughs> no pig, no friends, no farm. <laughs> the end. The future is now. I'm happy because I liked it better the way that it was. <laughs> yourself. Thank you for coming and we hope that you'll tell all your friends and we hope that we may see you again which should be the following year.